ChatGPT is all about data and not saving your data could be one of the biggest risks for those of you ChatGPT fans and aficionados who have spent thousands, hundreds, tens of hours gleaning great answers from this tool. So how do you save your data? Follow me to ChatGPT. The first thing you want to do is go on down to the settings tab. Hit the settings tab and click on export data. When you click on export data and confirm export, you are going to get an email. And that email will be in your inbox within seconds. In fact, you might even hear my notification when my email arrives. But once you've clicked on that, you're going to get a download like this. This download has got an HTML file and JSON files. All you need to do is double click on that HTML file and it will open up the HTML page where all your data is. Now the next stage of this whole journey is to be able to search for your data from this huge mass. For me, this is hundreds of hours of information. All you need to do is know what you are looking for. In my case, I'm going to search for the WBS because I know I've got a lot of WBS data in here. So all I do is a control F and I search for WBS and the rest is done for me. There's create WBS. I hit it again. There's another create WBS and create WBS and I have all that stuff I need. Another example is Smartsheet. I know I have mentioned Smartsheet in here and all I need to do is that and boom, it's found Smartsheet. This is how to search for your data. Like I said, my friends, not doing what you should as far as saving your data is a huge risk. So take some time out, save that data, and you'll be extremely glad you did. I want to shed a little bit more light on the importance of not saving your data or saving your data. The importance of saving your data is so important because not saving your data is very dangerous. First and foremost, if you've had valuable conversations or received important information from ChatGPT, not saving that data could mean losing access to it forever. And I know what I'm talking about because it's happened to me. There are very unique answers that GPT gives you that it will never give you again in that same way. There was a time I was looking for data that I had re received from GPT and I could not find it. At that time, I had not taken out the energy and the effort to download my files and to be able to search for them. So. I went clueless, not knowing where my data was, and I was not able to use it. Also, not saving your data could prevent you from tracking your progress with GPT over time. As you interact with GPT over time, you may start to notice patterns in its responses. For example, I noticed patterns in its wokeness. And I went back in my records and I checked, and sure enough, <laughs> I was able to see that a lot of its responses were of that tendency and of that nature. But that is just one example of trends. There are other trends and patterns that you will find in your chat GPT. Finally, not saving your data could also leave you vulnerable to privacy and security risks. And if you've shared personal or sensitive information with chat GPT, failing to save that data could mean that it's lost or potentially accessible to others who should not have access to it. So if you've got stuff of a sensitive nature, you want to erase it from GPT, but you want to save it first. Not saving your data could have a very huge price to pay. And I want to stress the importance of doing so majorly because you want to be able to search data. Right now in GPT, there's no easy way of saving data or searching data. If you're looking for stuff in GPT on the web, on the platform like this, uh, you're not going to be able to do it because there's no search capability. So you want to use this as your search capability. It takes away the need for pouring through that left-hand side of GPT, searching and searching and searching. I hope you found value from this. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this with your friends because a lot of folks, they're gonna be crying. They're gonna not, not be able to access their GPT data when there's a power cut or when there's a hacker. 
that did something crazy. We know there's always the risk of a crazy hacker trying to bring down a system that so many people depend on. So if I were you, I would do this on a weekly basis, probably even on a daily basis. If ChatGPT is a center point of your business, do the right thing, my friends. Take care of that risk. Save your data. Bye for now.